Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy X5, and I just want to do a quick run through of the power saving modes. This is, uh, this is one of the more highly touted features of the phone, and one of the things that we've been kind of looking forward to testing out. The, uh, the phone does have a removable ba backplate and a removable battery, so you can swap that out if you're running low on battery life. So in some respect, this isn't as big a deal, but if you don't have a spare battery with you and you do need uh, to get a full day out of your phone or it's getting late and you uh, still have a couple hours before you get home, you, uh, you can use these modes. So uh, to get to these, what we're going to do is we're going to flip down, go into our settings, keep hitting the wrong button, go into our settings, and then we go see, uh, we have power saving right here, and then ultra power saving. Power saving is uh, just, you flip a button, a few uh, features with the phone change, you can read about that on geek.com, we've covered it, but it's, uh, it's pretty simple. You just flip it off when you're done, and uh, you're back to normal. The, the, the impact on day-to-day -day usage is very limited. Uh, if you really need to save a lot of power, say if you're going away for a weekend, and you forgot your charger at home, and you got two flights and uh, a day out, then uh, what you're going to want to do is use ultra power saving mode, and that's a lot bigger deal. You're going to flip that button, you'll get this sort of warning here, and, uh, or this explainer, and it says that, hey, you have this much battery life, you're going to get this many days out of your phone. So with a, with a good charge, 91%, we'll get almost two weeks out of the phone, so pretty solid. That's assuming you're not using it a lot. It's a standby time, so your display will be off, but the phone will be on, and uh, the battery drain will be really limited. The other things that's going to change is it will change the color of the screen to grayscale, it will restrict your application usage to only essential apps and those selected by you. I haven't selected any yet. It will turn off your mobile data when the screen turns off. So it's not going to be updating your email and Twitter and whatnot in the background. And it will turn off connectivity features such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So hit OK and we'll go for it. The, uh, the phone is actually going to crank for a little bit here. It's, uh, it's not a simple switch into just like, hey, now I'm saving some power. I shut off. Uh, you know GPS, but uh, so it needs to think a little bit. And uh, now we are in that sort of grayscale power saving mode, and uh, it's obviously a very simplified UI. Uh, we have access to the phone, our messages, and the internet. Uh, the messages is is really simplified. The internet browser is basically a full-on browser, but it's hilariously in black and white. So uh, it's pretty cool. You don't actually lose that much of the experience. It's still really snappy and fast. You still have tabbed browsing and, uh, and those sort of things. So uh, it's really hard to complain about that. You know, you're missing out on a little, but it's not that much of a sacrifice. And then even uh, we're playing a YouTube video right there. So you're not losing a whole lot. We'll go home. Uh, you could add applications, and you know you can't add uh, everything here. You know you can't add Instagram or you know whatever games you're playing lately. But it will let you add your calculator, or the clock, or Google Plus, of course, uh, voice recorder, some stuff. So if you like, you know you had a 12-hour meeting coming up, and you do need to get some work done, uh, you do have access to those sort of things. So. Uh, and the functionality is really limited. Just hit the button. You have a clock now. Uh, so you could, you know, set alarms, use your stopwatch, and do other sort of clock things. The, uh, the settings in this mode are pretty limited, but they are more robust than you might expect. So uh, you could, for example, handle Wi-Fi, or you could turn Bluetooth on. So Bluetooth is obviously drain some power. But if you do need it, you could use it. Airplane mode, you could disable mobile networks. Uh, of course, location is disabled by default. But if you do need that for whatever reason, if you want to you know, you know, geotag your photos or something, you can. The uh, sound. And then finally, brightness. By default, brightness is very low. We're down at, what, maybe 20% there. But you can crank it up. This is clearly going <laughs> to defeat the purpose of ultra power saving mode. But if you are out in the sun or something and you do need that brightness, it is there. 
Uh, obviously, automatic is an option too. And uh, that's about it. The uh, the phone is pretty hampered. Uh, notice no camera, so I, I guess I wasn't quite right there about the G, uh, GPS tagging. But uh, yeah, so no camera, so that's something to keep in mind. But uh, it's easy enough when you're done. Hey, look, I got my charger coming. Just hit the settings button, and you go to disable ultra power saving mode. You want to do it? Sure, let's do it. And uh, it cranks for a second. The phone is reconfiguring the UI and uh, you know doing whatever it's doing. And before you know it, you're back in TouchWiz land, and the phone is just as snappy as ever. Uh, you got your Bluetooth on. I'm gonna shut that off, and uh, and all that. Yeah. So that's Sal Congeloso. I'm Sal Congeloso, and this is the Galaxy S5 with the ultra power saving mode. Thanks for watching.